Hello everyone, it's me Isodin K from VA Africa. We are the oldest Western style university in West Africa, which was founded on 18 February 1827. Fort Bay College as an institution started at Regent Village in 1827 for short courses for men. Completed in 1848, the current relic building housed the Christian Missionary Society Institution for training teachers and missionaries. In 1876, it was transformed into a university college affiliated with the Daham University. It served not only Sierra Leone, but the whole of British West Africa. The first university based on Western education, religion, and civilization equated to the Sankore University in Timbuktu in the 12th century Mali Empire, purely based on Islamic education and civilization. And currently it is located at Mount Orel. But at the moment, this area where this university is, it is called Klein Town. Many prominent Sierra Leonean citizens, including Samuel Ajayi Crowther, studied in this institution. During the Second World War, the college was transferred to Mabang in the Moyamba district. This university is known as the Athens of West Africa. Reason being, it has taught so many people from different parts of West Africa. Students who are coming from Nigeria, Ghana, the Gambia, Every other part of Africa, people were coming from there just to get an education in this ancient building. Yes, it has taught so many people and they have been of use to their community, their society and their country. That is why it is known as the Athens of West Africa. Today, this ancient building, we are coming to take a tour, to walk around, to explore exactly how it's been and how it has really impacted the lives of people in Sierra Leone and in West Africa and in Africa as a whole. It is called Fro Bay College. The current relic was subsequently used as the headquarters of the Sierra Leonean government railway and later as a magistrate's court. The original Fort Bay College building is located at Ross Road, Glyn Town, East End of Freetown. The building is a massive four-story structure built of dressed blocks of laterite. It has a grand entrance supported by the large cast iron columns. Most of the building is still intact, even though it lost its entire roof in a fire accident. With the loss of the roof, rainwater started percolating within the building, which is overcome with algae and other plant growth. As I carefully walk from the back entrance stairs into the building, one can see the weakening interior layouts and debris of fallen off laterite blocks, rendering the building unsafe and there is need for the preservation and conservation of such important historical relics that exhibited the phrase Athens of West Africa. This takes us to the relevant institutions responsible for the preservation of the historical monuments and relics, the Monuments and Relics Commission and the Ministry of Tourism and Cultural Affairs. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you must have learned something. We have seen the old FBC or the old Fort Bay College. We have seen its structure, though it is ancient. Of course, it should be because it is a very fast Western style university building that was founded on 18 February 1827 guys so we have almost come to the end of this session and we believe you must have enjoyed viewing how the the ancient building actually looks like we don't know but that is its current state so thank you very much from VA Africa I am Isadin K We extend all thanks to you for viewing and we encourage you to be part of and provide a supporting hand towards the drive of safeguarding a significant heritage for posterity.